So you're moving around Dallas, you're trying to dip your toes in the sand of Frisco, McKinney, Allen, or Plano, and you're trying to decide which one is right for you. After all, both McKinney and Frisco have been named the best place to live in America numerous times. What if I told you that more people decided to live in Plano, Texas? Matter of fact, nearly 100,000 more people have decided to live in Plano than both Frisco and McKinney. That's right, in all of DFW, Arlington is the most populated suburb at 394,000 people, and then Plano is the second most populated suburb at nearly 292,000 people. In this video, we're gonna cover the pros and cons of Plano, Texas, so you can decide if this area is right for you. Let's go ahead and talk about the pros of Plano, Texas. For starters, we must talk about the convenient location that Plano has in all of DFW. Plano is located in Collin County, and it's bordered by Allen on the north side, Frisco on the west side, Wiley on the east and Richardson as you head south. Plano is only 21 miles north of Dallas. It's only a 35 minute drive to AT&T Stadium and Globe Life Field for Cowboys games, Rangers games, and many huge concerts. It's an hour south of the incredible Choctaw and Winstar casinos in Southern Oklahoma. And if you're traveling, DFW Airport and Love Airport are only about 25 to 30 minutes away. You'll see later many of the great shopping and restaurant locations within Plano as well. And Plano and Frisco are right next to each other. So if you're into golfing, you're also right next to the brand new PGA of America headquarters location in Frisco. Speaking of location, let's go ahead and talk about the second pro of living in Plano, and that's going to be the great neighborhoods. Let's begin with the granddaddy of them all, the home run hitter of Plano neighborhoods, and that's going to be Willow Bend. This is arguably the most prestigious neighborhood in all of Plano, as it has huge mature trees, large spaced out lots, and some of the most beautiful homes in all of Dallas. You have Willow Bend Lakes and Glen Eagles Country Club that runs pretty much in the middle of this area and shops at Willow Bend, with some of the highest end shopping in North Texas that has over 125 stores and located on the intersection of West Park Boulevard and Dallas North Tollway. In the MLS for the past year, this area has had over 65 homes sell. They've sold for a low of 740,000 to a high of 4.45 million. The house that sold for 4.45 million was only on the market for four days, highlighting the type of demand in this area, even for multi-million dollar listings. Ranging from 3,200 square feet to as high as 8,400 square feet, and you're only about 25 minutes from downtown Dallas if you take the tollway. There are many architectural styles over here, a great family community, including Greenbelt Walking Pass, and it's part of Centennial Elementary School, Renner Middle School, and Plano West and Shefton High Schools. The next neighborhood we have is Timberbrook. This is located just on the northeast side of Plano, just east of 75. You're right next to Oak Point Park and the Nature Preserve. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, you'll love this park as it's 800 acres and Plano's largest park. The pond at Oak Point Park is open for kayaking, canoeing, and stand-up paddle boarding from dawn to dusk. And you can even go zip lining here at the Go Ape Treetop Adventure Course. Over the last year, we've had 20 homes sell in this neighborhood. They sold between 455,000 to 850,000. These have been between 1,870 square feet to as high as 4,100 square feet. These homes were built between the 90s and the mid 2000s, so they could use some upgrades, but they still have great architecture. You're real close to Spring Creek Parkway, so you've got plenty of shopping and dining options. Plus you have an LA Fitness nearby if you wanna get your workout on. This is Northern Plano, so you're also real close to other major shopping and dining options in Allen, like the Allen Outlet Mall, Waters Creek Village, and the Village at Allen. These are only a couple of the many great neighborhoods in Plano. I'll link another video in the description below where I cover more of Plano and its communities if you're interested. For our next pro, let's cover the transportation systems in Plano. If you've watched my other videos, you've heard me reference DART in the past. DART ain't for the faint of heart. Ah, bars. I was Drake in another life. But there are times when taking the DART train is very convenient, especially if you want to get some laptop work done before you head into the office. Plano is one of 12 cities that opted in for the DART. There are red line and bus lines available, and you can get straight to downtown Dallas from Parker Road in Plano without having to deal with the stop and go traffic through that part of 75. I used the DART train quite a bit when I used to work for Corporate America. In full transparency, it was kind of sketchy at times, but overall, it wasn't that bad, especially if you took it between 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Hey, taking a quick break. If if you're getting value out of this video, please go ahead and support the channel by liking and subscribing. Again, thank you so much for watching. Let's get back to the content. On to our fourth pro covering some of my favorite parts of Plano, and that's gonna be the great shopping and dining experience it offers. Starting with Legacy West, over 40 specialty shops, including Louis Vuitton and Gucci. There's a nice vibe over in this area of Plano. To eat their own though, be careful. You can spend a lot of money over here before it's even time to get a Starbucks coffee. We also have the shops at Legacy. 
This is one of the hallmark shopping experiences in all of DFW. I personally just bought some Jordan 3s over here just the other day. I couldn't find these black cement 3s anywhere except within the shops at Legacy. As far as dining goes, there are more than 1,000 restaurants in Plano. Everything from quick dining to fine dining, you name it, there are plenty of options over here. You have the Legacy Food Hall. This is located within Legacy West, quick dining to get you in and out for your day. And it's also ranked number two out of the top 10 food halls in the whole United States. After you spend a fortune at Gucci or Louis Vuitton, get your grub on over here and maybe grab a cocktail or two upstairs to wash away your shopping sins. Personally, my favorite place to eat in Plano is at Urban Rio, located over there on 14th Street on the east side of 75. Great food, great drinks, and lots of live music on the weekends. <laughs> I embarrass myself with how fast I eat their house smoked brisket uh, brisket tacos or they're looking like a damn child. All right, on to our fifth row. With a city this popular, you could probably guess what we're gonna cover next. And that's gonna be the great local economy and the job opportunities in Plano. According to many reports, Texas has the second strongest economy in the US. And cities like Plano and Frisco are a big part of that. Companies like FedEx, Liberty Mutual, Toyota, and Ericsson are several of the major employers that have set up a large corporate presence here. So if you're not one that likes to go to downtown Dallas every day, Plano has convenient career opportunities located right within the city. The unemployment rate is low and usually hovers between 3.2 and 3.6%. And the job market in Plano is expected to increase by 44% in the next decade. All right, we have two more pros. One of our last highlights is gonna be how low the crime rate is in Plano. Wallet Hub reported that one Texas city made the top 50 safest US cities and it was Plano coming in at number 16. I've been to Los Angeles and Miami a couple of times. While I love the beach and many other things to do in those cities, I felt like I needed to keep my head on a swivel, especially while in Hollywood. I don't necessarily feel that way in most areas of Plano. There are many reasons Plano is the second most populated suburb in DFW and the safety of this area is one of them. All right guys, our last pro of living in Plano is gonna be the outstanding school reputation. Niche.com gave Plano an a plus rating ranking at number 16 out of 1000 different school districts for diversity and the number 17 overall best school district earning an a plus overall rating based on their school district for high schools you have plano east plano west jasper high school shepton and then ca mcmillan high schools there is a huge variety to choose from with 44 elementary schools 16 middle schools six ninth through 10th grade high schools and three senior high schools. There's a 15 to one student to teacher ratio, which is lower than the national average of 17 to one, suggesting that students that attend Plano will get more individualized attention than the national average. The average SAT score in Plano is 1280, much higher than the national average of 1060, and then the average ACT score in Plano is 29 compared to the national average of 20. I competed in sports against Plano East Senior High when I was growing up, and they were good in pretty much all sports. They have 11th and 12th grade, housing approximately 3,100 students, and it's ranked within the top 5% of all public high schools in Texas. And Plano East offers a ton of options with basketball, football, baseball, softball, volleyball, bowling, lacrosse, cross country, track and field, golf, gymnastics, soccer, swimming, tennis, and wrestling. There are many more pros and these are just a few highlights, but similar to Frisco, just when we thought Plano was done growing, it continues to expand and become more of a relocation option for both families and young single adults. No city is 100% peaches and cream though, so here are a few cons of the area. For con number one, we're gonna cover the older homes all over Plano. You're not gonna find many new construction homes less than $600,000 in Plano, and it's the same with Richardson, the suburb that's just south of Plano. If you're looking for a new construction neighborhood below 500,000, you are better off shopping in the nearby cities of Wiley, The Colony, Parker, or another suburb. If you're into the newer homes look, this might be a pro for you, but if you're shopping for affordable new construction communities, my recommendation is to look in another suburb nearby. For con number two, we're obviously gonna talk about the weather here. Let's just call it what it is. Inconsistent weather is a con of every Dallas suburb. I have referenced this as a con in every single pros and cons video of Dallas suburb, and there's just no other way to slice it. It is what it is. If you're considering a move here, yes, you watching this on your smartphone, please be prepared for sunshine, uh, rain, thunderstorms, hail, more rain, more thunderstorms, uh, and then back to sunshine all in one day here in Plano, Texas. Our last con of living in Plano is gonna be the traffic. The second most populated suburb in DFW, 
Highway 75 and the tollway stay pretty congested. You'll also sometimes have a hard time getting parking at some of the shopping and restaurant locations I mentioned earlier as well. You have Highway 75 and the tollway running north and south, and then George Bush running east and west. Be prepared to pay extra toll fees if you're moving to Plano, unless you're taking Highway 75 the whole time. So guys, this is gonna close us out on the pros and cons of Plano, Texas. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you got value here, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you currently live in Plano, feel free to comment down below your pros and cons of living here. And if you wanna know more about another great North Texas suburb, check out this video by clicking here. Ah, bars. Ah, bars. Ah, bars.